Mr. Hennessy, of course, I realize I'm only the dean of this college. But if you don't pay a little more attention to your studies, the team will be shy of halfback. <laughs> and as for you, young lady, being my daughter does not exempt you from studying. Now, this term, our person zoology, will learn that nature does some very strange things. <laughs> Here, we have one of nature's oddest freaks. <laughs> and now, now. Wait, yeah, yes, sir. Uh, looking for Dean Martin. Yes, I am Dean Martin. Well, Pa says to give this to you. Yes. The dean was right about nature. Your old pal, Squarehead Buckley Senior. Well, 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 good old Squarehead. <laughs> he used to call me Squint. So you're Elmer Buckley Junior, huh? I don't know who threw it. I, I said you're Elmer Buckley Junior. Oh, yes, sir. Well, yeah. well, well. <laughs> Students, I want you to meet the son of one of the greatest halfbacks that ever made a touchdown for Clayton. Right. Right. <laughs> uh, now, let me meet my daughter, Marge. Hello. Oh, hello. Yeah, sit right down. <laughs> move over, move over. Sit right down, Elmer. <laughs> <laughs> so you're a naturalist, huh? I suppose you've made a study of the prehistoric animals. Dinosaurs and mammoths and saber-toothed tigers. And no, birds. Oh, birds? Oh, uh, eagles and condors. Uh, no, little whippoorwills that sing in the evening. <laughs> uh, I've made quite a study of them. Well, 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 that's very nice, very nice. You know, now, people can learn an awful lot from the whippoorwill. Uh, he is a home-loving bird. I have often watched the papa whippoorwill. He starts out in the morning with a song on his lips. Yes. And Mama Whippoorwill cheers him on. Where is he going? He is going to bring Mama Whippoorwill some nice big worms. Well, well. <laughs> in the summertime, he brings her smooth ones. And in the wintertime, he brings her woolly ones. <laughs> Who tells the worms when to change their underwear? <laughs> Mother Nature. You see, Mr. Hennessy, you're learning something you did not know. Now, to return to our subject. You know, uh, uh, the, the Papa Whippoorwill, when he digs up a worm, he whistles. I got one. <laughs> and, uh, uh, you know, e even though you don't know it, Mama Whippoorwill can hear him many miles away. Yes. And she answers him back. 
Bring it home. <laughs> yes, well, that's all right. Now, let us return to our subject. What have we here? A skeleton. That's right. Now, uh, what kind of a skeleton is it? Crocodile? <laughs> no, no, no. A horse? <laughs> no, no, Elmer, no. He's only got one more guess. <laughs> You're a long way from the head of the class yourself, Mr. Hennessy. <laughs> no, 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 no. Now that we've had our little laugh, let's get settled. This is not a theater. <coughs> this is an elephant, isn't it? No, sir. Oh, no, oh, well, well, now, Elmer is perfectly correct. It is not an elephant. It was an elephant, but what is it now? An elephant skeleton. Correct. That is correct. <laughs> very, very good. Now, Elmer, what have we here? A baby flea. Elf. Flea, flea, oh. that is correct. <laughs> Elmer tells us it's a baby flea. <clears throat> now, Elmer, what is the essential difference between the flea and the elephant? Well, an elephant runs, but a flea hops. <laughs> yes, yes, well, that's uh, true as far as it goes. But uh, biologically speaking, Elmer, what is the one big difference between the flea and the elephant? Oh, the biological difference. Yes. Well, an elephant can have fleas, but a flea can't have elephants. <laughs> 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 that's all fast, Smith. All candidates for football team be on the practice field at 2 o'clock. And no dessert for lunch. Elmer. Elmer, uh, where did you go to high school? Montclair. I was there eight years. Uh, well, uh, I suppose you were going in for football. No, it's a lot of hard work. Besides, I heard that fella say that he was going to cut out desserts. <laughs> This is no laughing matter, Margie. Just read that. No desserts. Uh, $250,000 for his first touchdown? Yeah, and you know how badly Clayton College needs the money. Why, it put the old school right in its feet. Daddy, you leave Elmer to me, and he'll play football. Or I've lost my technique. Yeah. Oh, but he's so dumb. What about his study? Well, I'll take care of that. Just you get him to play football. For $250,000, fleas can have elephants. Daddy! You know, Elmer, I can't understand how a great, big, strong man like you would rather eat pie than play football. Oh, football, what does it get you? What does it get you? Well, imagine yourself in a football game. One minute to play. It looks hopeless, but there's a fumble, and you pounce on it, and you start down the field with the other team at your heels like a pack of wolves. He seems interested. Yes, in that pie. Ten yard line flash beneath your feet like railroad ties. Ten yards to go. Your chest is heaving with great sobs. You can feel the hot breath of the other team on your neck. And with a final burst of speed, you throw yourself across the goal line for the winning touchdown. You've won, you've won, and the crowd is hysterical, and the girl of your dreams is waiting with outstretched arms. Well, <laughs> she's a clever girl. It takes a clever girl to tell the same story to 11 men. Is anyone wearing your sorority pin? You could if you'd play football. Why didn't you say that in the first place? Will you keep it a secret? Sure. Let's go for a canoe ride. Oh, we'll have lots of time for new rides. Listen, isn't that peculiar? That's a Papa Whippoorwill flying home to Mama Whippoorwill with some nice big worms. 
Hear that? She laid an egg. Caesar, did you see that throw? 75 yards. Elmer, look what you did. Well, he threw it at me. Oh, oh Daddy, Daddy, come here. <laughs> come on, Elmer, you're a football player now. Elmer, I'm proud of you. Watch the scrubs, line up for practice over here. Elmer, you see that goal down there? Yes, sir. I want you to take that ball and carry it as fast as you can and place it between those two posts. <laughs> Is that all? That would be enough. <laughs> Okay, hello, boys. Little snap. Little snap. Hey. Okay. Come on, Bill. That's okay. Come on, Bill. That's okay. Come on, Bill. He'll make the team. Make the team. He'll make the college. Oh, it's marvelous. Elmer! If those fellas hadn't tried to stop me, I'd have been here sooner. need more beef in that line. You ought to put Buckley in right now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're right. Yes, sir. I'm all right. You always want to do things when it's just a little too late. I'll put him in. Uh -huh. Put him in! Oh. Where is Buckley? Where is Buckley? I don't know. He slammed down his helmet and said he was through with football and beat it. And beat it? We need him. Every build around him. Where did he go? He's father of the college. $250,000. Uh oh, looks like a touchdown for Bloomfield. It is a touchdown. Mr. Bloomfield just went over. Four. Bloomfield six. Clayton nothing. Uh oh. Which way did he go? Which way? That way? This way. Fight! Oh, and to think that I gave up eating pie for ten long weeks on account of one girl. Hey, give me one dollar, two dollar, three dollar. 
Well, what does she do with all that money? I don't know. I don't give to her. Uh, oh, Elmer! Look down that tie. There's 2,000 people waiting to see you play. I ain't playing for 2,000 people. I was playing for one girl. She don't care, so I don't play. Oh, but listen. We want Buckley! you big baby. I saw Marge kiss Red Hennessy. Oh, she didn't mean anything by it. Why, oh. you big zap Red Hennessy's Marge's cousin. Ain't that right, Dean? Oh, sure, sure. He's a cousin. Yeah. Well, that's the first time I heard about a cousin. I'd like to hear her tell me that. I'll fetch her, Elmer. I'll fetch her. We want Buckley. 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 Elmer, what does this mean? Can you imagine, Marge? Elmer got sore because you kissed your cousin, Red Hennessy. Silly. Certainly I kissed Red Hennessy. Well, you, you wouldn't kiss me, and I asked you 25 times. Well, you're not my cousin. Aren't you my papa whipper, Will? I thought I was. Well, yeah. big step. And after the game. Four, six to three in favor of Bloomfield with only three minutes to go. It looks like a Bloomfield victory, folks. Oh, come, come on, Elmer, come on. Come on. Uh, wait a minute. You owe me two buck fifty. Yeah, no, I'll pay after no, the game. No, you're not the game. I'll pay, pay now. I'll, I'll pay now. Sit. You pay hey, hey, hey. Come on. Come come on. on. Oh, police man, police man. <laughs> No! 
Will you let's quit this foolishness, Margie, and go canoeing? Oh, you're being too hard for that. <laughs> 